Cut. So what I'm going to show you here is how to do uh, view base. It's probably one of the nicest tools that they finally added a couple years ago. Not a lot of people see the use in them or have wanted to try, but I'll let you decide. I'll show you uh, what they do. So here I got some models I made at a previous job. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to go to my layout. Now, right now I'm under drafting and annotation here. You can really be in anything you want at this point, but you'll want to be at home and then base and then from model place. Now here it's going to grab everything that you have modeled. Down here you'll see you can select what you want to do and some different things. So typically I always press E for select. It'll bring you back here. If you hold shift click and you drag, it'll deselect what you want. So let's just say I want this guy here. Click it, hit spacebar or enter, however you want to do it. Now you have a bunch of different uh, options up here. You can change how you want the lines to show, visible or hidden. Uh, it gives you a, you know, uh, imperial scale so you can see how it's going to show. And you can also show what view you want. If you want current, if you want to start off with your plan view, uh, elevation view, all that fun stuff. So for right now, let me bump this up to half inch. So now it's going to ask me once I've placed it, you can just hit select. Oh, make sure I take that back. Just hit enter, place. You can go through the options, you'll see it all. Now it'll let you place your next view based on your original orientation. So now it's going to let me place my plan view, side elevation, and isometric. You hit right click and enter. Now it gives me this. Well, shit, now you want to go back and you want to change it to hidden view. Double click on the original. Uh, place the object and then you're going to go back up in here and now you can switch whatever you want. So now I want it to do with hidden views. Bam. Now it's all done. Now I don't have to deal with any of that stupid stuff. Well, let's say at some point you need a section view. Great. Makes it so much easier than what you normally would have to do for it. So, what you'll do, click on the image or the uh, viewport you want to select to make your section. It'll bring this up. This little dialog up here, hit it, click where you want it, right click when you're done, hit enter, and it's going to let you, depending on which uh, way you want it to go, you can uh, pick it. You can always move this after, so don't worry if you want it to go that way, but you need to move it back over. So I'll show you. So you just hit that, enter, great. Now everything's done. It gives you your hatch markings, you can turn it on and off, you just hit move. One thing you're always going to want to have up is your properties window. So in case if it's not, all you'll do is type in prop, keep that open, use it majority of the time. So that's pretty much um, view base. It lets you bring in stuff. You don't have to deal with layers or viewports or anything if you're doing kind of 3D models like this. Other times you might want to stick with viewports, but for me, this seems like the easiest and most logical uh, way to do 3D modeling.